I think I'm done. I've got maybe five or ten milliliters that have distilled over and it has been cooking for about five hours. Um, I've tried adding more sulfuric. I've tried adding more potassium nitrate. And I've even tried adding some distilled water to try to get the, the crystals, if they have crystallized, to, uh, to dilute and uh, to react differently. And it just isn't doing it. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. Let this cool down for a few hours, tear it apart. Now I'm gonna have to neutralize all of this. I don't have anything useful in here. Today, I'm gonna to show you something new. Um, this is actually gonna be my first attempt at doing this. Um, I use this toaster oven to do my motherboards, um, but I don't know why I didn't think about doing it with my RAM. So, my objective is to get all of these BGA chips by themselves. And if you look closely at these, they all have BGA chips on them. Now, I've separated out all the ones with legs. I'll do those ones a little bit differently uh, a different time. Uh, yeah, and you, you can see all those nice gold fingers that I've already trimmed off of all these. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cook them all together and then that would save a lot of time with the uh, heat gun that I usually use for the BGAs. So let's go ahead and put all of these in. Okay, so we're gonna set this on broil for 10 minutes. We'll hit go and we'll see what happens when that uh when that timer goes off all right let's take a quick look and see what this is like not quite hot enough yet i'm gonna let these cook a little bit longer all right let's see we got our next batch of RAM ready. Let's go ahead and take this tray out. It's not quite done with this next series, but we're going to see anyway. It's starting to smoke a little bit. It's a sign that they're definitely hot. Ah, much better. All right, so they might be insulating themselves here. Um, uh, yeah, there, there's too many on the panel here. Too many on our tray. I don't know, some of them are coming off. Oh no. Yeah, some are coming off easier than others. So let's try and dump half of them out and do them less, less RAM per, per load. This should be a lot faster than doing the, um, the heat gun on them. With how many I have to do, yeah, I don't, I don't love the idea of being out here with a heat gun all day. allow some of the air to circulate around these guys. Let's shuffle these up a little bit. That way they're not insulating each other, preventing the heat. Let's go ahead and put this back in. We'll let it finish its cycle and then uh, see if we need more time. And here it's sizzling away, so here we know it's working so the solder just lets go oh this is so much faster than that heat gun all day
<laughs> I'm dropping them. I'm gonna have to go hunting for those. The ones that don't let go of all of them, they'll go back in. Huh. All right, well, it's cooled down. I'm gonna have to put these back in. So, we'll get it back in the heat. Well, it seems like I have enough time to get two And it looks like I have enough time. Oh, these are still a little on the hot side. Two, four, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. So if I'm gonna grab nine different sticks of ram and try to clean them off, I got about time to do nine before the rest of them start to cool down. So I think as I go forward, I'm only gonna put nine on the tray and maybe that'll actually help them heat up faster too. So. This is still gonna work out better, I think, because uh, by the time I've heated up each one individually with the heat gun um, to do nine sticks, I think it's about three to five minutes each stick with the heat gun. So uh, this will this will save me hours worth of time. So I still think that this is much, much better, but uh, let me see how long it takes to process all of this and uh, I'll let you know. We've been running this for a few hours now. Um, I don't have an exact weight on this, but I mean, we've gotten quite a few, uh, I would say hundreds of grams of, of, uh, chips. And these are just BGAs. Bring in here in just a sec. Let me get these off of our server plate. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, not too bad. And if you remember how many sticks of RAM I had piled up up here. Here's our final result. Here's our icy chips that came off of these sticks. I'll have to count all these in a little bit, but that's a pretty good number of sticks that I just processed. It took me several hours, but let's see how many grams we ended up with. About 650, roughly 650. So that's really cool. Um, I've got a small bag of stuff that I processed by hand. Now, sad to say that this probably took an hour to do by hand using the, the little paint heat gun and uh, that microwave or the, the toaster oven really uh, sped things up for us. So let's combine these and see what our total weight is of BGA icy chips. Seven, around 750. So three quarters of a kilo of icy chips and just for the just for the fun of it these fingers come from ram video cards slot processors one kilo about 1.2 just short of 1.2 that's pretty cool I'm excited. When we get this processed, uh, that'll give us a good estimate. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and conclude this video, yeah? Well, that's pretty cool. So, unfortunately, the nitric acid didn't work out. Um, I actually found out why. I texted my uh, chemistry friend. We've been going back and forth a little bit today. Um, the bottle says that it has an inhibitor built in. So there's a chemical inhibitor on the sulfuric acid. 
that's going to cause problems when you're trying to uh, have it react with other with other chemicals. So, unfortunately, um, that's probably why my nitric wasn't going to work. But even if it had worked, the yield I was going to get was still going to cost me more than if I were to buy it from this guy on eBay. So. I've already made the purchase on eBay and it's gonna come sometime in the next week, week and a half. But um, when it comes, we're gonna get to start processing all these all these uh, fingers, these IC chips and a bunch of other things. I've got about, ooh, I don't know, 10 or 15 pounds and that's just an estimate, but I got about 10 or 15 pounds of low grade pins off of motherboards. Not to mention all the other motherboards I haven't even processed yet. So I've got a lot to process and I'm just excited to get going. So, so tune in, we're getting to the fun stuff. Um, I wanna see how much uh, on average a motherboard might get us or you know a certain number of video cards or things like that. And uh, that way when you see a scrap machine, you can say, oh, you know, hey, there's a video card and four sticks of RAM and this slot and that, this or whatever. You can say, oh, well, based off of the experiments that we've done here on this channel, it's got about this much gold in it. You can have a, you can have a good, fair estimate. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with us. That's one thing that I plan on doing out here is uh, test things out and see what works. And uh, I plan on failing here and there. I mean, those who have been watching the channel for a while have seen me fail quite a bit. We've got a lot of fun things planned. And uh, my next video, uh, which I'm gonna release in a few days, has all my surprises that I'd like to show what uh, what I'm doing back here. So tune in in a few days when I post that video. Um, it's already recorded, I just need to finish editing it. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.